Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I have a uh, very special fan. This is a very special challenge for me. I am limited to using bows and sledgehammers only for the entirety of my run, unless otherwise directed. This is the Keeley Challenge. Episode 1 begins now. So, wish me luck. Huh? I can't hear you. That thing is coming with us. Yeah, it's called the whole series of the public. Do you hear me? Yes. Okay. I'm going to She what? As long as she's happy, I don't care. That's all that matters. That's the whole point. Is it what? What happened? I'm actually going to have to try to find bird's nest for a change. Is this No. I have a very enthusiastic three-year-old, if you can't tell. But yeah, Keeley Challenge. This one's for you, Keeley. I hope I entertain. I should probably make a sledgehammer for those taste, actually. Yeah, there we go, that'll help. While I'm working on getting a bow ready, at least I have something to whack somebody with. Because I don't need this. I want this. Very useless. There's gonna be my main my main jam for this for this run. A big rock tied to a big stick. Let let my life in zombie land begin. Obviously, uh, melee books and archery books are gonna be a must find, so I should probably get started on looking for those while getting ready to get some experience. That is some food would help.
Yeah, definitely subscribe, like, and share on this one, especially because this this one this one's for Keely. Show this woman some support for supporting me for supporting her supporting me. might take a minute to get into the safe. But we'll work our way up from stone to iron to steel sledgehammers. That'll be good. Now, I usually turn it down, the graphic settings, because I like to ensure a consistent frame rate in this game. Since the new HD uh, Alpha 19 updates come out, uh, I get unpredictable lag on higher settings when there's a large amount of zombies on screen. They're still working out the kinks with the new HD textures, so it's blurry. I wonder if that's a, that might be a YouTube thing. Are you able to, like, read the text and such? Here, let me see what I can see. There's this, uh, okay. I was trying to get her. Oh, okay, what? Go ahead. I was trying to get her. That's why I said I'm on the camera. Um, it's because I'm trying to. It, how how bad is the blur? Not as bad as you said now. Well, that's because it's paused. The screen always blurs when it's paused. I'm paused it and I'm messing with the video. Okay, alright. Uh, check the check, check, check what resolution the stream is set on the settings. Yeah. Sledgehammer is low. Sledgehammer is light. I'll be able to sell the extra ammunition. Wow, you got torn in half. I think the 720 should be supposed to be now. Good. I'm gonna follow because you need a workout. I understand. Thank you for helping her out.
Ha! He does zombies. It goes both ways. The zombies are getting all the bugs. Yeah. Red, there's a community in the game now called Oh Shit Drops. It removes all fall damage for a few seconds. That is wonderful. I know, right? Oh, I accidentally scrapped my sledgehammer, I think. That ain't, that's not good. I should probably fix that. I know, right? I got a, uh, I got nice and shocked. It was a shocking experience. if you're a zombie. At least zombies are dumb. It's a great day to freaking die because the zombies are coming to eat my eyes. <laughs> That's why I hit him in the face with a big ass rock. Running around like I got. Yeah, I, I, I probably shouldn't say that. That would be inappropriate. It would be great to find some feathers so I can shoot the zombies and stay above the weathers. Hey, I can do show too. I wanted to, but I, I, I don't want to embarrass myself too much. I think I came into Tent City or something. There's not a lot of those homeless zombies. Whatever their official names are, I don't know. Just need a nest. There we go. That'll make some arrows. Bonk. 
chicken farm. Oh man, them zombie chickens, let me tell you. They're dangerous. Like, I'm straight up. They scare me. Finish this quest real quick. Kill the zombie. See? Another homeless guy. The zombie plague, it really, it really hit the homeless population particularly hard. Wow, I got blood. Is that a bunny? Come here, bunny! Oh, where'd you go? Them rabbits, they're sneaky little assholes. You gotta watch them. Oh, Crystal's favorite sound effect is when the zombies go, oh yeah, oh yeah. She does a much better impression than I do. Oh, here's a neat little thing up here. Stash. Oh, neat. Stamina bonus doubled for beer. Hell yeah. That would come in a lot of handy for a melee run. Speaking of leveling up. I have leveled up, and now I can make a better sketch in my mind. Oh, like to be relatively close to the trader though, so I should probably finish this quest so I can go ahead and get that to show up. Okay, I'm only 700 meters from it. That's not far. This way. Oh, I was already halfway there. Go figure. Oh, you didn't miss much. I just leveled up and increased my sledgehammer crafting skill to make better sledgehammers. I think I killed another business dude. That's about it. It's been relatively uneventful so far. Just kicking, kicking some zombie butt. Hey, a strip club! Detour. <laughs> the booby trap. I lo oh wow. You just got wrecked. Okay, now you yeah. Chicken! 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 Come here! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, you wanted, to, you wanted me to kill a chicken, not to kill a chicken. But you have to be very careful with the strip club, because, like, see that? That's a mine, and that will kill you, like, super hard, and there can be quite a few in here. This is a hardcore strip club.
Oh, my favorite. Energy drinks. You're not a stripper. What you... At least, I mean, I hope, I hope they work. No, they really don't. Crystal says it must be amateur night. Ooh, food. I need food. Oh, hi! You know what? You could be a stripper. If, you know, if you could keep your head in the game. Uh, no, you can't collect the mines, actually. It is unfortunate. But you can craft your own. <laughs> That's where the girls stash their purses. Hey, look! Money! True to life. Oh, this must be the VIP room. Guess they didn't have a good uh, personal experience. Why don't you have a seat? I think uh, I think my lap dance blew his mind. I love how the stage is the uh, is the loot is the loot room. That cracks me up. Oh yeah, and all kinds of good food though. Like that's fantastic. I wish I had a steroid so I could move a little faster. Isn't it though? Sorry, sir, we're closed. All the girls are dead. And no, they didn't die of syphilis. Primitive bows are just too inaccurate now. I need to get to the trader anyway. I'm so severely over encumbered. Um, over time, the less to, uh, the better I stay fed and watered, and you know, without dying, of course. Uh, my maximum stamina and health will increase as long as I stay, fit, you know, relatively healthy and fit. So it's just something you got to put a time investment to investment into to get higher stamina and health, but I think it goes all the way up to like 350 with perks as a maximum value. Right now I'm so slow simply because I'm carrying way too much stuff. Once I make it to the trader, I can sell a lot of this extra stuff off. Which <coughs> will help significantly. I look at my wife and run right into the corner. Distractions. Whew. Probably heal up a bit. Oh, 
Wait, so am I allowed to use Molotovs? Is that part of the challenge that I can't use Molotovs? And pipe bombs and stuff? Or am I allowed to use boom booms? Pick one. I have to pick one? Yep. I can't have boom booms and Molotovs? Nope. But. What do you think, Keely? Pipe bombs, Molotovs, grenades, or none? Crystal says I have to pick one. I want your input, because technically it's the Keeley challenge, not the Crystal challenge. Okay, uh, Keely says that I should do, be limited to one throwable as well, but she doesn't know which would be best for the area, and I'm like, I am not sure. What do you think, huh? What am I asking? What else? Molotovs, grenades, and pipe bombs. Grenades. I'm limited to grenades? Yeah. Okay. Well, that'll be a while before I get near them. Nice mustache. Wait, I'm allowed to use a, uh, oh yeah, 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 burn an Emily alive, that's great. I am allowed to use a knife to harvest, right? Yes. Okay. As long as I don't use it as a weapon. Let's see what he's got to buy. Oh, hey, grenade schematic. That'd be nice to have. Ooh, 10%. He's got some decent skill books. There's a bike. Oh, a level four iron sledgehammer. Oh, Thanks I need to go make some here. money. Come again. I need that. That's relevant to my survival. It is a lot of fun. I know, right? So much damage on it. I need to pick up one of these houses to use as a base. Uh. Uh. No, I use the little shed. That seems nice. That'll work. You know what? This is perfect. It's got a door. Ah, I'll, I'll settle down, right? Oh, God! What? No! I thought it was perfect! I was lied to! You dick! Oh! Oh! Okay, well, uh, there's, you know, my heart attack for the evening. Guess good to get that go ahead and get that out of the way, I guess. Uh, 
honey, you, I just had a near-death experience. Yeah, it was not fun. But I survived somehow. That is a zombie vulture, and they can they they suck. What is what did it infect you with? Fatigued. Oh, that sucks. I gotta find some vitamins to fix that. Put a bedroll down to mark my spawn. Home sweet home. Okay. Time to get back to work. But now I can actually move at full speed. Vultures or the zombies? Because my answer is both. There's the traitor guys, and they're supposed to be bandits in the game, but they've been having issues getting them to work properly. But, again, yeah, I'm assuming that they'll make it in eventually. But they've been saying that the bandits have come in since Alpha 16 and we're on 19 now, so we could play it. The bandits are coming. Yes, honey, the bandits are coming. At least I got some potato seeds. Let's start some farming before too long. Creepy ass shit does this guy the, the guy that lived here be into? He's got like a fucking prison cell up here. No. The only friendlies you could possibly find are friends in the game with you, but if they're anything like me, chances are they're not all that friendly. Yeah, no, there's some creepy shit that you can find in people's houses in this game. And, whoa, shit! Bad job! Oh, my goodness. That dog got kicked my ass. Let's 
game is all jump scare today, apparently. Ooh, wait, hold on. Reduce the stamina usage of melee weapons? Uh, yes, please. Nice. I would love to find a bandage or something right now. Oh! Shit! Make some money. Let's sell this to him. I really want that sledgehammer. Take your time. Been a real pleasure. You want your stuff out there? Very good at jump scaring you today, yes. I guess I'll go take a quest from the trader and try and get some cash coming in. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get some money for that super badass sledgehammer. <coughs> Your money is welcome here. Come back tomorrow, we get new goods daily. I'm in a bit of a you the man. Yes, I am the man. That is a woman. Now it's dead. Guess I put her back in the proverbial kitchen. Wow. Well, she's a zombie. Everything she made came out spoiled. That 
mod that I just took off my stone axe and put on my shovel increases the uh, damage I do to dirt blocks, which is quite useful, especially when you're on a buried treasure quest. I can also make a even better stone sledgehammer. What am I missing about oh, plant fiber? treasure inside a house? Or it's right outside of a house. Ah. Let's get digging. See, the treasure can be anywhere within this yellow circle. There are skills and perks and stuff that can be got to increase the size of the circle. But especially once you get later in the game, you get things like an auger. It gets uh, relatively easy to find these. Oh, did the circle get smaller? I did, it did. Ooh, that's neat. Maybe the circle shrinks if you dig out more of the dirt. That'd be a neat little addition. <laughs> Stamina is so low. Honey, yeah. the yellow circle for treasure hunting actually shrinks the more dirt you dig out. Oh That's a well, very welcome change. I hear something sneaking up on me. It sounds like he's coming from the left. <coughs> What's up, Cletus?
I appreciate that. Good lord, it's getting small, and I haven't still haven't found it. There we go. Ooh, jackpot! Oh, uh oh. I've been ambushed. Now, one of my favorite things in this game is these Mega Crush energy drinks. And because when you take them, holy shit, you haul ass. They're hard to find, but oh my gosh. When you have some, when you use one, it's so good. Especially if you combine it with a college jacket and uh, legendary running shoes. Oh man, you're so fast. Just literal barrels of fun, man. Oh, that's not good. At least I killed him. Anything you now we're cooking with gas. Oh, please. Please give me those, yes. Friend, I'm in trouble. Brilliant. I guess this kind of makes us friends now. Oh yeah, give me some health. Yes, exactly. I can run from the bear. <laughs> Good luck to that butthole catching me when I'm on one of these suckers. Oh, uh, my drink wear off. I'll save the other one for the, the trip back. Or I could use it. Yeah, well, I'll save the trip back. What the energy drinks? Heck yeah. Like rounded. Get away from them damn spiders. Now see, the problem I'm finding with Grounded is that, like, weapons are, like, very dramatic increases in effectiveness from tier to tier. But armor seems almost useless. Like, even with full sets of supposedly high defensive armor, it's really not stopping you from dying instantly. And that's just, that's just unfortunate. Oh, 
But again, the game did just come out a little over two weeks ago, so. Time will tell how they address balance issues. And it is still a superbly fun game, if not incredibly frustrating. But fun. Okay. Well, let's uh, break inside. Yeah, it's in the early access program, which is essentially yeah, beta testing. Oh, I think I found the kitchen. Quiet so far. Box. Microwave, but it's empty. Oh, uh, I'll have to check it as I leave. I didn't see it. My bad. Oh, you're gonna like this. Okay, so you see that sledgehammer, you see it, you see it on the screen a lot. Uh, I can mix that up. A little bit. But now it's a green sledgehammer. Whoa, well, this is weird. Is all the zombies dead? I can go back to the trader. Turn this in and continue to be trying to prep myself for worse things to come. Oh, that's not a box, that's a uh, cobblestone bag. I can see what, I, what you mean by it. It looks like one. I would have mistaken. Alright, let's use this. 
pop an energy drink. And then adios, old house. Cause I'm hauling balls. Nope, it's just that, uh, like if I, if I use the wrench on it, I can get like electronic scraps out of it. But it's not pick up a bit yet. So fast, so fast. <laughs> Me and Crystal actually made a mod on Alpha 18, the version of the game before this that you could craft your energy drinks using coffee and gasoline. We thought it was fitting. Here's your reward. I owe you one. Getting there on that sledgehammer, getting there. There's 3,500 to go. Safe travel. Or, uh, right, I'm already at three. That's what. A little over 1,200 to go. I'm gonna get in the shed. I'm going to go ahead and end this stream for now. Good, damn good start to the Keeley Challenge Chapter 1. Thanks for watching. If you came in after the stream ended and watched the uh, stolen video, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, shoot me ideas, any other challenge ideas you got. I'm game. I'm too good at this game. I need all the challenge I can get. Other than that, don't be a chud. Have a good night. See you next time.